Florida State had a pretty tough schedule in 2021. And when you look back at it, and they did avoid playing Clemson. And that was, I mean, they were on the schedule, but they didn't play the game. So, uh, you know, you could say whatever about that. Uh, but they had to play the other teams in the ACC that they had to play, Notre Dame, North Carolina, and Miami. So you're playing the second, third, and fourth best team in the conference. Of course, no divisions last year. And then if you want to throw NC State in there, uh, and number five, really, you could say they played the number two, three, four, and five team in the ACC. And if they had to have, if they would have had to play Clemson, if that game had not gotten canceled, just think about how tough this schedule would have been. So three and six seems pretty rough. But again, when you look back at that schedule, I don't think it was as bad as maybe you might think. Of course, they did beat North Carolina, and that was a big win for this Florida State team. But we're going to look ahead here to 2021. Again, three and six last year. This is the schedule for 2021. Before we go game by game, let's just look at the games outside of the division. They'll be back to a normal schedule this year, uh, of course, playing all the teams in your division. So you know you're going to play those games. But in the non-conference, they'll play Notre Dame, Jacksonville State, UMass, and Florida. Of course, Jacksonville State, UMass, that's not very tough. But playing two pretty good Power 5 teams, two top 25 Power 5 teams in Notre Dame and Florida make for a very tough non-conference schedule. Uh, Notre Dame and Florida both figure to be top 10, 15-ish teams this year, I think. Uh, Florida on the road, obviously going to be tough. And then in the non in the non-division in the ACC, they just they get them again. North Carolina and Miami, brutal schedule in the ACC. Of course, they'll play Clemson in the division, and then also now playing North Carolina and Miami, the two teams you want to avoid out of the Coastal Division. Of course, they're going to play Miami every year, but again, North Carolina, the team that you really don't want to play out of that division. A very tough schedule for Florida State. Uh, when we go game by game, they start off with Notre Dame on September the 5th. Now, that's going to be a Sunday night game. That is scheduled for Sunday of opening weekend or of week one. Of course, we have week zero before that. But that's going to be a big game. You know, Florida State coming in here week one, a lot of new faces on this Notre Dame team. You got to think Florida State's going to come in thinking that they have a, a shot at pulling off this upset. It'll be a pretty big upset, but don't count them out. That could be a pretty exciting game. Then they'll get Jacksonville State after that, September 11th. September 18th, they'll go on the road to face Wake Forest, another team that they did not play last year because the game was canceled. You know, you go back to the schedule for Florida State last season. The last five weeks of the season, they only played one game. They had a bye week in there, then they had three games that got canceled. Uh, Wake Forest was supposed to be their final game of the season, uh, but of course, with COVID and everything, it was a crazy year. But they will get to play, hopefully, Wake Forest this year. And then they'll play Louisville on September 25th. That game will be at home for Florida State. That was probably their worst performance last season. So, you know, I, I would expect them to bounce back this year and see if they can get that win at home. Uh, we continue on now. After that, it's North Carolina, or actually Syracuse before that, on October the 2nd, uh, playing them at home. You like Florida State's chances in that game. North Carolina, though, after that on the road uh, October the 9th. That's going to be a very tough game for North Carolina coming into this year looking like potentially a top 10 team you got to go on the road i know they beat them last year uh, but i'm gonna go still go ahead and say that that was a little bit of a fluke uh, that was probably florida state's i'd say it was their best game of the year uh, we'll see if they can do it again this year umass after that actually before umass they get a bye week so their bye week will be october the 16th really a horrible time for the bye week before playing umass i mean um i guess the the one positive you could could say from that is it's after the North Carolina game, so if they're a little beat up from that game. And if you don't have to fully prepare, prepare for UMass, because that should be an easy win, you could kind of look at it as having two extra weeks to prepare for Clemson. So we'll see if that turns into something. Maybe Florida State could shock the college football world and upset Clemson on October the 30th. That game will be on the road, though, and will be very tough, I think, for Florida State. Uh, NC State after that on November 6th. That'll be a home game for the Seminoles. Then Miami, November 13th. He's going to play them later in the year this year, which is interesting. And you look at that, th those last five games, this is brutal. After uh, Miami, they'll play Boston College on the road. We know Boston College is, is starting to, to look much better as a program. And then Florida on the road, rivalry game, November 27th. Of course, we're so glad to have that matchup back. Um, and... Uh, We'll see if, if Florida State can compete this year. But again, when I look at this schedule, the first uh, half of the schedule there, yes, they have North Carolina. Yes, they have Notre Dame. Outside of those two games, though, 
there is a chance, I think a, a good chance to win the other five games. So you could be sitting there at five and two getting ready to go down the stretch. But that stretch is a very difficult stretch. Again, Clemson on the road, NC State, Miami on the road at Boston College, on the road at Florida. Just a, a brutal stretch there to close out the season. Uh, if, if Florida State wants to get to a bowl game this year, I think you really need to go five and two in those first games. Um, or maybe even shock Notre Dame and go six and one. Probably not uh, very likely. But you need to go five and two in those first games. And then you just got to knock off one of these teams coming down the stretch. Maybe an NC State at home. Maybe Boston College. Maybe a Miami. Who knows? But again, this schedule for Florida State for an ACC schedule is very tough. Playing Notre Dame and Florida in the non-conference and getting the two best teams out of the Coastal Division. Uh, this makes for, again, a very tough schedule for Florida State in 2021.